Сила. Это Денис Кишин здорово там. Решился прорываться. Окей на встречных курсах. Сила. Закрыл Никишин зону. Бросок гол Геверту. Такой бросок невероятный. А? Интервью, да? Ой, Андрей, музыка звучит. Попрошу коллег чуть-чуть посмотреть. The Hurricanes have a lot of young, exciting prospects, but none of them are as coveted as Alexander Nikishin. As he sets the KHL on fire with his amazing skating ability, his size, physical brand of play, and scoring ability, the Hurricanes may have just found their next franchise defenseman. Size, strength, and skating ability. These are the foundations of Alexander Nikishin's game. His edge work allows him to bait and deceive four checkers. This also gives him great abilities to move the puck on transition and distribute it, as well as execute well-timed offensive zone entries. His capability skating combined with his frame make it difficult to take a puck away from Nikishin. Once he decides where he wants to be positioned, a combination of brute force and finesse will take over. With edge work this proficient, creates his own passing lanes and creates his own shooting lanes. This makes him a constant offensive threat, as he can always look for open ice to position himself well to shoot or to be a passing option, and preemptively position himself to defend off of the rush. Even more impressive than his edge work is his speed. Nikishin seamlessly transitions into his stride, has excellent acceleration and great stride extension. This allows him to create time and space or reduce time and space as needed, with or without the puck. The skating ability also lends itself well to the defensive side of his game, as he has very aggressive gap control. Puck carriers have little to no time to make a decision with Alexander Nikishin on the ice, and his upper body strength gives him excellent poke checking ability. But the real calling card of his defensive game is his physicality. One of the reasons why Alexander Nikishin has the nickname of Boom is his ability to lay seismic, thunderous hip checks. Being stable on his skates and having incredible core strength gives him this checking ability and he uses it to ruthlessly deny entry. Nikishin's intimidating physicality can single-handedly neutralize a rush. Even if the puck carrier manages to chip it past Nikishin, he'll make sure that that's as far as they go. He never passes up an opportunity to finish a hit, and everyone knows it. A lot of times, puck carriers will distribute errant passes, and this results in a lot of turnovers. And if nothing else, those are forced just by Nikishin's presence alone. This high-intensity game extends to him defending in and around his own net, where he uses his strength to not allow a net front presence to materialize and to help out his goaltender. Nikishin also has an impressive shot-blocking ability. Using his frame and pure athleticism, this adds another layer of sandpaper on top of all the skill. This high-intensity style of play also lends itself to the other end of the ice. Nikishin is very aggressive at pinching, keeping pucks in, and keeping plays alive. Nikishin often acts as a fourth forward, and you'll find him spending a lot of time deep in the offensive zone, contributing to creating scoring chances. These situations are where the decisiveness in Alexander Nikishin's game stands out the most. Nikishin plays a zero hesitation game and is incredibly confident when he has the puck. As an extension of his abilities and his desire to keep the play going at the other end of the ice, he generates a lot of high danger chances of his own. Even with all those capabilities, he generates even more offense off of the rush. With a good hockey IQ that's only going to get better, Alexander Nikishin identifies the perfect time to join the rush and where to find open ice to make himself the best passing option and to maximize his positioning for the best shot opportunity. Another noticeable thing about Alexander Nikishin's game is that he is always mobile. His feet are always moving. Even at his own blue line, he is constantly positioning himself to make the next best play. This adds another layer to his very nuanced offensive game of being a puck distributor and a shooter. Alexander Nikishin also has great vision and he uses it in all three zones. This is where his constant skating and his vision are a deadly combination. Nikishin makes stretch passes that have similar mechanics to most players taking a wrist shot. They are very crisp, they are very decisive, and they almost always get to their intended recipient. He also uses this great passing ability in the offensive zone, making cross-eyed seam passes materialize seemingly out of nowhere at times. The high-intensity game that Alexander Nikishin plays is also supplemented by his two-way game. His speed allows him to play a high-risk, high-reward brand of offense and have the speed to get back to cover defensively. All of these things combined make Alexander Nikishin valuable at both ends of the ice and in all situations, be it regulation, overtime, 5-on-5, five five, power play, or penalty kill. 
but as proficient as his ability to pass the puck, his timing joining the rush, wrist shots, and snapshots are, he has one weapon in his offensive arsenal even deadlier than that. The other reason Alexander Nikishin has the nickname of Boom is that it's the most descriptive word every time that he takes a slap shot or a one-timer. Nikishin has the art of the one-timer down to a science. His shots are not only powerful, but they're accurate, and while he's capable in all situations, the power play might be where he stands out the most. Nikishin's one-timer strikes fear into penalty killers, and forces them to pay attention to where he's at on the ice well before he has possession of the puck. With Nikishin having great edge work and being an active defenseman, the abilities as a distributor and the abilities as a shooter make Nikishin the ideal power play quarterback. He identifies the best times to shoot, the best time to move to try and open up penalty killing formations, and identifies holes in penalty killing formations to distribute passes, and to shoot for rebounds. The speed, skill, and physical edge that Alexander Nikishin brings is unreal. Alexander Nikishin is a complete defenseman. He provides everything that a team could want on the power play and on the penalty kill. He has size and he knows how to use it. His skating ability is well above average to say the least. It's not very often a player comes around, all the intangibles, all the defensive responsibility, all the speed, all the skill, and all the offensive production at the same time, and he's only 22. Nikishin is just getting started. And now that we've looked at the basics of his game, the following full sequences of play will dissect his game even further. In this first sequence, Alexander Nikishin has possession of the puck on the power play and is currently looking for a passing or a shooting option. With his options limited, Nikishin chooses not to irresponsibly shoot at the net or attempt to force a cross-ice pass. He makes the correct decision and passes it to the only teammate that is clearly open. As the sequence of play unfolds, Nikishin keeps his feet moving, constantly in motion prepared for whatever happens next. With the penalty killers forced to collapse around the net, Nikishin has opened himself up to be an ideal passing opportunity. With the time and space provided, he decides to position himself towards the middle of the blue line. Waiting for the opportune moment to strike, Nikishin identifies that a net front presence is materialized and that the goaltender's sight is limited if he can see anything at all. And this reverse angle provides an even better view. Using his teammates and the opposing player as a screen, he picks the absolute perfect time to shoot. Even if he doesn't score on this play, it more than likely generates a rebound and a high danger chance for his teammates. In this sequence, Nikishin is in possession of the puck with a four-checker bearing down on him in his defensive zone. He makes the safe play behind the net pass, allowing his team to break out, and then quickly moves up ice to get to his assigned defensive position. Once again showing his affinity for being an active defenseman, Nikishin keeps his feet moving. Using his speed, defensive awareness, and aggressive gap control, Nikishin denies a clean entry and forces a dump in. He positions himself defensively to prevent opposing players from establishing a net front presence. With the play on the opposite side of the ice, Nikishin positions himself to receive a pass behind the net and to be able to quickly get back to the front of the net to prevent a scoring chance should the need arise. Identifying that the only remaining opposing player in the zone is already covered by two players, he decides to step up and eliminate the threat entirely, force an errant pass, and completes a clean hit with the shoulder through the body. In this sequence, Nikishin is on the penalty kill. He is responsibly positioned to prevent a net front presence from materializing in front of his own net. After gapping up to create a layered shot block should the puck get through, Nikishin identifies an opportunity to generate a shorthanded scoring chance. With nothing but open ice in front of him and his team made him clear possession of the puck, uses his speed to get in position and to get on a breakaway. Even though he fails to convert, Nikishin isn't done with this shift yet. He quickly starts to back check. As opposed to skating directly towards the puck carrier, Nikishin skates towards the middle of the ice as to angle him off. Gapping up at the right time to help out the two players back defending, stick lifts and then poke checks, neutralizes the scoring chance, and then takes the body along the boards. During this sequence, Nikishin is defending near his own goal line. After his teammate executes a shot block, 
Nikishin jumps on the loose puck, bouncing it off the boards and creating a breakout. Identifying another great opportunity to jump in the rush, he once again utilizes his speed. Here, Nikishin decelerates at the perfect time, allowing him to obtain a good shooting opportunity in a high danger area while maintaining enough separation. The opposite angle provides an even better view of the passing opportunity that Nikishin created for his teammate. Nikishin creates a dynamic scoring chance because here he's not only an option to shoot, he can distribute another pass from his current position if he elects to do so, but instead, he decides just to show off his skills as a sniper. These final two sequences will demonstrate Alexander Nikishin's defensive ability. Despite being on the power play, Nikishin doesn't shy away from his defensive responsibilities. With an odd man rush developing, Nikishin decides not to get caught flat-footed and goes into a full forward stride towards his defensive zone. He handles the ensuing two-on-one perfectly with a textbook maneuver of covering the open player, taking away the passing lane, and allowing his goaltender to challenge the puck carrier aggressively, preventing a goal. This final sequence of play, Nikishin is positioned in the neutral zone with an oncoming rush. His positioning allows him to telegraph the pass that the puck carrier is about to make, and he uses his great skating ability to execute a textbook open ice check. If there is any moment in this video that summarizes what Alexander Nikishin does best, this is it. This shows him truly living up to his nickname. If NHL development coaches could genetically engineer a defenseman in a lab, the end result would be Alexander Nikishin. With him, there is Calder Trophy potential, and there is Norris Trophy potential. And even before coming over to play in the NHL, he's already putting them on notice. Ready or not, here comes the boom. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and please consider donating to my Buy Me A Coffee. The link will be in the description. I would also like to give a very special thank you to Hockey News Hub on X for helping out with the footage used in this video. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.